welcome to my channel. It's It's been a while. I've gotten really behind on my videos and school's just got crazy. Last video we also was Aquashella. Wait, was it Aquashella? I think it was Aquashella. Anyways, we're back now and today's video is going to be about the Mandarin Dragonette that I got. Yes, they are pretty cool. You're so, that behind? I'm not behind. <laughs> Dragonette, he needs a name, he's a little guy. A little something about Mandarin Dragonettes is that they're members of the Dragonette family, obviously, and they are wild caught and feed off the copepods, which are small little crustaceans. They love to eat those, but it's really hard. Well, honestly, it's really hard, but it's kind of. It takes time to get them to eat frozen foods because if you just feed them pods alone, they will starve. So this is what I'm going to be showing in the video today is how to feed your manager to eat frozen fried shrimp, which will keep him nice and plump and then he will not die. Mandarins are pretty easy to take care of overall. They don't get diseases very much because they do have a thick slime coat that protects them from ick and most other things. Um, they're actually kind of delicate though because they do like to jump. Everyone that I've talked to has had a mandarin that jumps. So if your tank does not have a lid on it, make so sure it's like a crawfish. No, crawfish climb. Ah. These things, they, they'll just like sail. Oh, the heat. But you know how like that sail meme where they're just like flying off the planet? I do. Like that? I do. Yeah. yeah. They do that. And they eat out of that tank. I've had one do that before. Everyone else has had, has had that happen as well. So make You've sure had one eat out of your tank? Yes, I have. I caught him in my hands. He just yeet. <laughs> <laughs> So we're at the Animals Club right now, and that is where I'm trying to. We're in the business center in a cubicle. <laughs> so yeah, it's been a rough time getting videos out. I tried editing at school. Literally, I've had nothing to do at school, and the one day I bring my laptop, I had to do something. So it's been it's been a rough time. Um, I'm gonna try to get this video out on Saturday and try getting back to my normal upload schedule, but. I probably won't. I'd probably be only able to film like maybe one video a week because things are getting crazy in the day. But anyways, yeah, let's just get right into the video. This brine shrimp because it has better nutrition than normal and you want to use some of this garlic extreme to soak it in just so the mandarin finds it more appealing. It smells so bad. I'm just gonna let this stuff soak in it for about 10 minutes. Hey, oh, you went away. I am gonna make sure when I feed them to turn off the power to the flow because they are very slow moving creatures. It will take them a while to get the food. So I'm just going to wait for them to come back out more, and then I'm going to cut the pump and put some food in there. He likes to hide a lot, so whenever I find him in a good spot, I'll drop some food in. Power real quick. we got to come out. I don't know where he is. I've been pouring little bits all around the tank because I don't know where he went. He's hiding somewhere. So I don't know where he is. Is that him? No. You can't be see him, but I think he's eating. I see him like going at it back there. I'm gonna have to drop more. Dude, I think he's actually eating. Okay. Let me drop a little bit back here again. Slowly, so it doesn't. He's a very slow creature. Hopefully, he eats that. I know the bristle worms are going nuts right now. But let's see if he goes at it. He's moving around back there. I think he's actually going for it. Oh, I see him. I see his head. I've just got to do this a couple times a day. Every day. Until he gets used to it and actually like wants to eat it. But I think it's working. He's kind of looking around for it. The 5 gallon probably would have been better because there's lots more open space that I can actually see him. But I really do think he's going after it back there. He's been hanging out there for a while. Yep. His tail's flared. Yeah, his head's moving like he's eating something. Dude, that's awesome. I think he's eating.
Okay, so it's the second day of this. I have some of this. Make sure to shake it up real well. Sitting in a cup with some salt water and some of that dripped on it with the brain shrimp. I'm just gonna let that thaw a little bit and soak in the garlic juices. Just kind of shake it around to get the stuff broken off. Let that set for a good 10 minutes. So, let me find the mandarin. He was just out a second ago swimming out in the open and then he got disturbed by my camera. But what I'm gonna do is turn off the pump now to give him a few minutes to adjust to the flow not being on. And so he can get a little bit more comfortable again and hopefully he'll eat. Oh, there he is. It's like he knows it's food time. He's gotten a lot more curious lately. Let me see if his belly looks full. A little bit. It looks like he has been eating something. He ate it. He ate it. He ate the bread shrimp. He ate it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This dude was alive. My gosh, he's eating it. He's eating it. Time, but he's eating it. He's not spitting it out. He's eating it. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm so happy about this right now. Like, I kid you not. He actually ate. He didn't spit it out. He ate. Not as much as I'd like him to eat, but it's a start. He's eating. He's accepting it. And he got something, something to eat. I'm just, I'm shocked he actually ate. And he's still a little bit timid right now because I just got him yesterday, I think. So, that is good. So just think, after he gets comfortable, he'll eat so much more. And I'll be keeping this little guy fat. Um, yeah, this is just awesome. I still can't believe he ate. If you have fish that aren't eating, use that garlic stuff. Man, it does wonders. And it also helps with their slime coat and protect against ick. But... <laughs> I'm very impressed by this method. It definitely works. A little bit skeptical though, because I knew garlic got fish to eat, but like a mandarin though, like it only eats like little pods. Like why would it want to go after brine shrimp? I don't know, I guess the smell just overtakes them and they just love it. But other than that, I'm very happy that this little guy is starting to eat and he's going to get all fattened up before you know it. Only problem is the Nasiri snails. <laughs> like, the Nasiri snails are faster than the Mandarin, so they will sometimes get the food before he does. So, like, there's a whole chunk that went back there and it's gone now because these guys ate it in like two seconds. But, anyways, that's about it. Um, I'll do like some updates throughout the week probably on this little guy on my Instagram. So, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. But, yeah, I think that's about it for this video. There's the little buddy. Here's the little mandarin. It's such a cutie. Pump for feeding number three. Look at that little cutie. I think he knows by now, it's almost food time. His belly looks pretty full, which means he's been snacking all day. What a good little mandarin. Oh, he got a little scared. Alright guys, we're about to give our little little buddy a call here. Thanks for calling Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. How am I help you? Yeah, this is Ryan. I'm here with Nick right now. Which, what's up, guys? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that kid Nick is a, a little shrimp. <laughs> comment, comment little shrimp on his post right now. Alright. Where, where, we're in Texas? Yeah. We gotta fly you out to Florida soon. Oh, uh, didn't see you there. <laughs> Thanks for watching my video, guys. We're still in the, you know, conference center of the airport. But it's been, it's been a good time. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something new from it. And I hope maybe you consider getting a mandarin of your own. Just please keep in mind you do need a lid for this tank. <laughs> Not like even this much gap because they will they will get out but yeah that's about it and you do you know watch them during water changes because that's when 
the failure happened for me. Just guys, these are lovely aquarium creatures. Everyone loves them because of their patterns and they're just striking colors. Um, I will be possibly trying to breed them soon. Perhaps. Oh, there's a stupid fly. I don't think you realize how distracted I was by that. Anyways guys, here from the business center, I will say thank you guys for watching this video. It's been a good one. It might have been a little bit boring, but I hope you learned something new. It's been a good day, you know. Um, <laughs> I'll see you all in the next video.